These jumps here is kind of a rhythm section. Um, it's depending on what bike you have. 125, probably to 250F, you're gonna triple coming in. If you had a 450, you possibly could quad. You wanna stay forward, try to stay as low as you can off each one. Get as much traction, as much drive as you can too, because that always picks up speed. Body positioning is more over the front end, you just so you don't get kicked from the back end, and you can be more aggressive that way. Downside it a little easier. These, sometimes it looks like you can skim through them, but they're a bit of a distance to skim through them. You know, maybe like say on a 450, you probably could because you have that momentum, that power. On a smaller bike, you're probably just, you're gonna have to, you know, jump through them. And uh, they're not really steep enough to tap off them. You know, they're kind of rolling ones. So, um, you know, you kind of, you kind of only have one one way to do it. And but if that's the only way, then do it the best way and the fastest way you can do it.